We have some presentations this evening, and the first is item A, present the Beautification Task Force Awards. Irene? Thank you. I, I will be doing the presentation in just a minute, but before I do that, I want to thank the Beautification Task Force members, and uh, many of them are here, so if you can stand up or wave or something to the audience when I... Well, you can do it now. <laughs> I was going to call your name, but I'm going to call everyone's name just so you know who these people are. So Christine Abbey, Julia Ah, Sally Calvert, Jane Calvert, Sandy Headley, Emil Hans, Carolyn Livingood, Bridget Lopez, Lee Miller, Carol Moriarty, Val Morgan, Alicia Nerby, Glenn Ritz, Melody Tobin, and then we have a couple of honorary members who wish they could be here and involved more, but uh, Tammy Del Benny and Joan Burrell. So before I start, uh, we are, will be giving out plaques and we, uh, t checks that are kind of a token reward for uh, the efforts that you ha all have put into the uh, making your property beautiful. Uh, the money provided for those was uh, done through Berkshire Hathaway California Realty. Um, Larry Franzella is one of the presidents, and he, it was used to be Prudential Royalty, that's why it used to be a short name, now it's a long name, so anyway, he donated all those things, he also provided the money for the reception that you uh, were enjoying, and after this is all over, I hope you go back and enjoy it some more. So, I want to know, you to know that anyone who receives an award, or who is being mentioned tonight, was nominated by someone, either themselves, a neighbor, somebody driving by. We had online uh, nominations, people dropped by things. Some properties got nominated more than once, so it was really exciting. And we've never had this many people nominated. So we're really pleased to see this. And the actual voting was done by the Beautification Task Force members, all the people that I just uh, mentioned. And they were, they are not comparative voting, it's each property was voted on its own merit, so um, you'll see the results in just a second. So the first part of this is the Beautification Task Force proudly presents. And I guess it's this one. Nope, this one. Ah, there. The 19th, believe it or not, Annual Beautification Awards for 2015. And the Beautification Awards program is designed to recognize the efforts of residents, businesses, and public entities to improve the physical appearance of our community. The focus is on exteriors require a significant commitment on the part of the property owner or renter. This year, in response to the continued drought, the Beautification Task Force changed their award categories. We asked for only zero-scape landscaping that included the whole of the front yard or part of the front yard or, oh, or part of the front yard and projects that were recently completed. We also looked for 10 homes that have brown lawns to be presented with a sign explaining that they are supporting the efforts of the cities to conserve water. And these brown lawns, we've tried to find them all throughout the neighborhood. And the people who did this not only had a brown lawn, but they keep it neat and tidy looking. So the first category is the full, large, full yard, full front yard <laughs> xeriscaping. And the first few that you'll see are people that have been nominated but did not receive an award. The awards, I, as I said, um, the third and second place people will receive a certificate and a, a small check that is, was donated and um, as a token of our appreciation. And I, am, I apologize, I'm horrible at names, so I'm just gonna do the addresses. So the first one, and as you go through this, think about what you can do for your own yard, people in the audience and people here, that if you haven't done this already. And uh, some of the things are really beautifully done and kind of astonishing. So this is 407 Linden Avenue, 309 Acacia Avenue, 316 Oak Avenue, 324 Oak Avenue, 456 Oak Avenue, Oak was, Avenue was very well represented at this time, 200 Amador Avenue, 
3351 Longview Drive. I know there's nothing on here, but somebody nominated it, so we don't refuse any nominations. 3140 uh, Jeffrey Drive. 30, 2030 Sky Spyglass Drive. 3520 Sunset Drive. 3951 Coronado Drive, uh, Way. 2271 Rosewood Drive. Oops. 5541 Madison Avenue. 1801 Glen Avenue. 212 North San Anselmo Avenue. And this is our third place winner. 637 6th Avenue. So this is the first part of it. And that's, oops, I'm sorry. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, it's all right. No? Ah, there we go. So, person who lives at 637 6th Avenue, are you here today? No? Oh, sorry. Well, we will still send them their certificate and their check. And you saw a peak of the second place avenue um, is 160 Lassen Drive. And this is one piece of it. And that's the other piece. And are those people here? You are. Fantastic. Come on up. This is John and Donna McMorrow. Yes. And congratulations. Oh, well. Would you like to say something? <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Thank you. I've been here for over 40 years. I didn't even know it existed. Thank you. Well, next year you can nominate someone. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. And first place winner is 170 Hampton Court. <laughs> and that's how it looks. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, so Hampton Court people, this is James and Catherine Prescott. You did, you did. We're surprised. Well, don't go away. And we, I had, as I was walking around, I saw someone who had one from 2000 and 2014. So we hope you keep that up for a long time. Yeah, we will. So congratulations again. And do you want to say anything? Well, I truly thank everyone who was involved on the committee and uh, those who went and researched all the different houses. And uh, Kathy and I have been here for a long time. And, we value San Bruno, and we're glad that we could add a little bit to San Bruno. Thank you. <laughs> I'm totally surprised. Thank you. They did. The next category was a little difficult to do. It was for small front yard uh, zero scaping. So people who had a big yard and maybe only zero scaped a little piece of it. Um, some people nominated other people and it got a little confusing. So um, we'll just show you and there's only a few. So the first one was, so it's a uh, small front yard. Oops, I said year, huh? Oh, well, uh, small front yard is 399 Pine Avenue. And you can see that part and that part. Um, the next one is uh, 3641 Sunset Drive. And the third place winner is 3350 Longview Drive. Are those people here? No? Okay. So they, they're moving on to the whole yard, we're hoping. The second place winners is 1170 Fremont Drive. And you can see they did one half. And hopefully they'll do the other half next year. So that's what they did. So are those people here? No? Okay. Oh, well, you can, <laughs> you can take them. And then the first place winner is 3571 Exterior Drive. And they did that. So they are not here, but we will make sure they get their signs and their checks. 
The next one is a longer category, and it is the most improved. So people had to have a grass lawn and made it into xeroscaping. And I have, was fortunate enough to get uh, before and after pictures for everything. <laughs> so there's your before. Uh, so a lot of people had lush green lawns, and then they went over to what they have now. So um, this is the before of 416 Cherry Avenue, and this is what they did to it. This is 549 Fifth Avenue, the before, and then the after. I can see some of you are getting ideas. This is 11, 711 Elm Avenue and how grassy it was. It's very beautiful. However, they changed it over to this. The next one is 567 Hazel. That's the before. Where do you see the after? And that's after. The next one is 428 Hazel. They sent the before picture in, so I don't know what happened to the young man. Um, but this is their after. Totally different. This is 153 Linden, what it looked like before. Lots of green, green lawn. And this is what it looks like now. And they didn't win yet. This is the before of 2090 um, Spy, Spyglass Drive. And this is the after. 458 Beach Avenue before and the after. And 3510 Bering Drive, that's their before. And that's their after. And these, the next, this, that, now you saw why this was so difficult. We had all these people and then we have four more. And the next three are all second places because they were only one vote between each of them. Oh, I'm sorry. These all had the same votes and then the first place winner had one more vote. So these people all got the same votes, votes. And the first one is, oh, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. Oh, this is one more, it's not on my list. This is one more before and this is one more after. They, they didn't win either, sorry. There, this is the first before, it's 558 Acacia Avenue. And this is the after. Yeah, looks nice. So I know those people are here. So Jeff and Pat. think a beautiful front yard is a sign of a beautiful city. So, Aww. good luck. Good. <laughs> Thank you. So the rest of you people who are here, you know I'm going to ask you to say some, so you have to think of something. So this was our first second place. The next one is 100 Sonoma Court. And this is their before. And this is their after. So are these people here? Oh, there you go. Come on up. Ted and Lisa Chapman. Thank you so much. <laughs> Would you all like to say something? We'd just like to say thank you to the committee, and we really enjoyed doing the work, and we're happy that um, the committee appreciated our efforts. The next one is this is the before at 618 Pepper Drive and this is the after. Yeah, they did a lot of work. And are these people here? This is William and Carol Vass Vassila? No? Okay. They probably could be. And the first place winner is Kane, 1580 Canes. This is the before. And I know I can tell some of you have driven past this, and this is the after. So, so um, Ms. Hula Potter, is that right? Are they here? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, they they all get a everything. 
So the next piece is for the brown lawns. So the Beautification Task Force would like to acknowledge the sacrifice residents have made in an effort to save water. For those who went from vibrant green lawns to brown lawns and yet still re maintain a neat, pleasant yard, we salute you. So how we'd like to salute you is this way. Substantial. We would like to present you with this sign, doing our part to save water, so all of the people who drive by you and your neighbors know you're doing it, not because you're lazy or don't want to spend the money, but because you're saving water for the city. So when I show your uh, lawn, and if you are here, please come up and get your, your plaque. So the first one is, oops, 3871 Coronado Way. Is that person here? Yes, it's brown, <laughs> but neat. It's neatly done. Okay, and like I said, we'll make sure they get those. So the next one is 901 Angus Avenue. No? Okay. 148 Georgia Avenue. Somebody has to be there. 1551 Claremont Drive. Oh my goodness. Okay. 3930 Moulton Drive. Yep. 203200 Jeffrey Drive. There you go. Yay! <laughs> so you can, oh good. <laughs> you can get your picture taken. <laughs> well, this is our part, you know, to help save water in the city. And, uh, you know, even though, you know, it's brown, we still have some green in the back to keep it beautiful for a uh, beautiful city. So, yeah. Brown is good. Brown is good. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shoot, I forgot to give this file. I'll give it to you. Okay, thank you. And 3441 Longview Drive? No. 206 Lassen Drive? No. Okay. 2991 Mirren Drive? Uh, you guys all must be home saving water. <laughs> 101 Lucia Court. Okay. Well, that's the end of our presentation. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it and you learned something and got some ideas about xeroscaping. And I think the Beautification Task Force people, they work really hard for all of you. They um, do Operation Clean Sweep. They do the Holiday Lights program. They do the Beautification Awards, which it, it takes like 15 minutes now, but it took hours and hours to get it all pulled together, to get the nominations out, to do the voting, to do the slideshow and all that stuff. So that, and then they help clean up San Mateo Avenue on the last Sunday of every month. And if you feel like joining us, it's at 10 o'clock. We meet in the, behind, in the parking lot behind Centennial Plaza. So you're all welcome to come, and we supply the equipment, and you can go out and help clean up. So with that, I'd like to thank them and give them a round of applause. So thank you. Oh, that's, oh, thank you, Sally. Uh, we also started a coastal cleanup for the very first time this year. So we will be presenting and uh, advertising that more next year and hope you join us for that. And before I stop talking, I want to thank Vicki Hiche. Does she leave? Vicki Shea is our deputy city clerk, and she put, put, helps put this all together. She does all the certificates for us, and she put, um, put together the reception. So I'd like to thank her, too. I think she, she's still out there. So anyway, she'll hear this later. So with that, I'm going to call it quits. And um, if any of you would still like to chat with your neighbors and find out how they did whatever gardening they did, um, the food's still out there. Thank we do you. have some refreshments, so we'll take just a very short break and, and enjoy yourselves in the lobby.